This is a video of the fossil wood that I found today. Now fossil wood is, that's coniferous, from, that's from a coniferous tree and that's around 200 million years old. It became fossilized after it was felled and volcanic ash and debris covered it up and it basically turned to rock. Now the uh, there was uh, Mount Simpson volcano 400 million years ago but this piece of fossil wood did not come from that. It came from either Mount Sugarloaf Volcano or another of the, of the volcanoes that erupted in the Jurassic period, or in the dinosaur period. Yeah, that was once part of a living tree and it, it was felled by cataclysmic force and buried in mud and ash and whatever else, and it did turn to stone. That is samples of fossil wood that were fossilized after they were felled and buried over with materials such as volcanic ash. Oh, come on. I didn't want They're okay. I'm trying to get it. Okay. How about this one? There, that's a good sample. Now the petrified forest in Utah is uh, 225 million years old. But petrified wood is just not limited to Utah because there, there was volcanic activity everywhere. Uh, for example, we have the Mount Simpson volcanic caldera covering much of southwest New Brunswick. But there are other volcanic flows from other volcanoes that erupted during the ages. So I was very lucky to spot that piece of fossil wood. Took a beating.
that. That was a knot. That right there is a knot. A wood knot, like as in a limb once protruded out of that. But the limb got broken off. You can see where the, cir the, cir the, uh, the wood cells are running circular around where that limb protruded. That's an amazing piece of fossil wood that is. That was one lucky find. And right up here Well, that was, that made my day a banner day, definitely. I will see you online.